So before we go any further, we have to pay attention to one more detail here uh, is this part here it says one and s and two s and actually uh, in order to use uh, one s you would need to bridge two soldering points and two s other two soldering points so um, if you have a look here closer I will show you this part it's over here you can see the three soldering points so in order to use one s which is here on top you would need to solder in other ways to bridge the middle one and top on a soldering point but we are using we are gonna uh, we'll uh, use two as battery so uh, we have to bridge the middle one and the bottom one um, soldering point in order to use two as so So what I did, I did install the motors already into the frame. You can see that it's just ideal enough space for the motors here. And then the wires are coming through these little holes. And I already shortened them up. And there is another little trick with the wires what I no normally do especially with those little tiny wires so if we want to um, solder the wires we have to remove the protective um, plastic around it so for example if we were to use um, something sharp like scissors it's pretty easy sometimes to cut the wire um, so what I normally do with this little tiny soft wires, I just do, use my nails. Well, it sounds a little bit um, strange and simple, but um, it's pretty safe. And normally I don't have any problems removing the um, plastic away. And it's m way much safer uh, than, to, uh, than using the, the scissors. So... Um, So this is what I normally do with all tiny wires, just to be sure I don't cut them, uh, cut them away. So you can see that I already um, I already shorten them shorten them up. Uh, before we we um, solder the wires, we have to thin to tint the end of the wires as well. We'll do it in a bit. So this is the flight controller before we um, install it onto the frame we can solder the um, batteries wires to the battery soldering points and if we follow the manual we'll see that this is ground and that one is um, positive so let's do that When you um, install the flight controller, to install it on the edge, so it is, um, it's going to be more convenient to plug the USB um, cable to the flight controller, and obviously we want to install it in the middle between these two um, holes here. And let's press it because we're using the double side tape which was provided. Any double side tape. Now the flight controller is installed and it's time to solder the motor wires.
So now it's time to um, install the receiver and we are using, I'm using the ASBUS radio link receiver which comes to UART 2. Uh, there is another one thing to mention here, uh, the front motor wires you have to leave a little bit longer because here are the holes for the side brackets so um, we want this wires to be um, inside um, inside um, the brackets so uh, they don't squeeze the wires and the wires are safer being inside rather than outside so let's solder the um, receiver uh, same we have to remove a plastic um, protective uh, plastic protection from here isolation plastic isolation and then tint all the ends of the wires and it's going to be easier and better to solder this way and now it's time to install the camera and solder the camera's wires So let's install it here to the front and we are using the double side tape. And as you remember the wires will go to your 3, ground and plus 5 so black and red wire. 